This is Brandon Lee with BetFerms.com here with your 2012 Vanderbilt football predictions. After going 25 seasons without a bowl game, Vanderbilt made it back to postseason play for the second time in four years. The Commodores would go on to lose to Cincinnati 24-31 in the Liberty Bowl to finish up at 6-7 overall. It was quite a first season for head coach James Franklin, who has a chance to do something no Vanderbilt coach has ever done before. Take the Commodores to back-to-back bowl games. Franklin has to like his chances with 15 starters back, but nothing is easy in the SEC. Teams are going to take Vanderbilt a lot more serious this time around, which will make it very hard to match last year's success. For a better idea of what the Commodores will look like this season, here's a quick breakdown of what they will send to the field on both sides of the ball. The Volunteers may have finally found an answer at quarterback in Jordan Rogers, who won over the starting job from Larry Smith last season. Rodgers didn't make his first start until the seventh game of the year against Army, but ended up leading the team with 1,524 passing yards and was second on the team in rushing with 420 yards and four scores. Big things are expected out of the senior signal caller in 2012. The Commodores had one of the most productive seasons on the ground in quite some time. A big reason for that was the emergence of Zach Stacy who carried it 201 times for 1,193 yards and 14 touchdowns. Stacy got his chance to shine after Warren Norman was forced to redshirt because of a knee injury. Warren, who led the Commodores with 459 yards in 2010, is expected to return this season. For those that don't remember, Warren set the SEC freshman record for all-purpose yards with 1,941 in 2009. Big things are expected out of junior wideout Jordan Matthews this season. Prior to Rodgers taking over at quarterback, Matthews had just 117 yards in the team's first seven games. He ended up finishing the year with a team-high 41 catches for 776 yards. Matthews became the first Vanderbilt wideout in school history with three straight 100-yard performances. The Commodores are also very high on sophomore Chris Boyd, who was second on the team with 31 catches for 473 yards. The fact that Vanderbilt was able to rush for 164 yards per game in 2011 was pretty impressive, considering they lost their starting left guard Jabo Burrow after just one game, and starting center Logan Stewart only played in five. Both Burrow and Stewart have graduated, along with guards Kyle Fisher and Mylon Brown. Even with the losses, Vanderbilt has a good amount of experience coming back and should be able to at least match last year's numbers. The Commodores made some big strides on the defensive side of the ball in 2011. After allowing just over 31 points per game in 2010, they held opposing teams to just 21.6 points per game last year. They went from giving up 419 yards of total offense to just 323. Even though they returned seven starters from last year, They lose a lot of key pieces and could suffer a a bit of a setback. Up front on the defensive line, the Commodores have to replace their best pass rusher and defensive end, Tim Fugger. They do bring back three starters and talented defensive tackle, Rob Lohr, defensive tackle, Colt Nichter, and defensive end, Walker May. With both tackles returning, Vanderbilt should continue to be strong against the run as they allowed just 131 yards per game last year after giving up 193 in 2010. While the Commodores returned starting middle linebacker Chase Garnum and starting weak side linebacker Archibald Barnes, they could find it difficult to replace strong side linebacker Chris Marv, who many considered to be the heart and soul of the entire defense. The secondary also has a couple of key players they will have to replace as they lose second-team All-American corner Casey Hayward and starting strong safety Sean Richardson. This unit finished 19th in the country with 19 interceptions last year, and a lot of that was a direct result of Hayward and the pressure applied by Fugger and Lohr. With both Hayward and Fugger gone, expect for a bit of a drop-off in production from this unit in 2012. Now for my SEC prediction. I have Vanderbilt finishing 6th in the SEC East. While I think the Commodores are going to surprise a lot of teams with their ability to move the ball offensively, I am concerned that the defense will make it hard on them to win games. Even though I don't think Vanderbilt will make a lot of noise in the SEC East, this team definitely has a great shot at making it back to a bowl game. Whether or not they can get to that six-win mark will likely come down to a couple of very winnable road games against Kentucky and Mississippi.